For this video, I'm going to talk about Japanese tea ceremony. And I'm also going to show you a video of me doing chakai, which is tea gathering, but the informal way. Since I can't do the formal way of the tea gathering, which is called chaji, since I don't have the exact materials. Let us begin. Japanese tea ceremony is a Japanese cultural activity involving the ceremonial preparations and presentations of matcha, powdered green tea, the art of which is called temai, or temai. Now, I'll be showing you the video of me doing the tea ceremony. That's the video. Now I'm going to tackle the stuff that happened on the video or what are the steps. So let us begin. So you have the first step which is the host prepares for the tea ceremony. So that's me um, pulling my, he calls my kimono or yukata. And Sometimes the preparations for the tea ceremony starts weeks earlier before the actual day when the ceremony takes place. 
the host needs to send formal invitations to the guest and to prepare his or her soul for the ceremony by leaving behind all worldly thoughts and just focusing on obtaining a certain harmony and equilibrium within himself or herself. Now for the next step. Second step. The guests also need to prepare spiritually for the ceremony before actually participating. They need to purify their hearts and thoughts and leave the worldly worries behind. Now for the third step. Step 3. Cleaning the tools. The actual preparation of the matcha doesn't start until the host brings in all the tools. But for this video, I already prepared the tools. Cleanse them in front of the guests before using them, like what I'm doing. The cleaning of the tools is aesthetically done with concentration and highly graceful movements. These movements can differ from a type of ceremony to another, but what is always important in all the Japanese tea ceremonies is the graceful posture of the host and aesthetic value of the way things are done during the tea ceremony. No unnecessary movements or words are allowed during the tea ceremony. All the things starting with the tools and ending with the guest behavior have to be in harmony with each other. Step 4. Preparing matcha. After the tools are perfectly clean and aesthetically displayed, the preparation of matcha begins. Usually the host adds in the tea bowl 3 scoops of matcha per guest. The hot water is also added to the bowl and the composition gets whisked into a thin paste. More water is added afterwards. So as you can see in the video that I only added two, that is because I added three but the video was somewhat cut and I didn't get to retake the video since I already made it and there's no more matcha left. Okay, and the last thing is the host serving the matcha to the guest. Thank you for watching my monthly test in English, which is all about tea ceremony. That's it for the video. Sayonara!